area since uh, we came from Italy in 1972. Awesome. So 40-whatever years. In the 70s, uh, it was, we'd had no problem at all, really. Uh, I, I don't remember at all. We built it in the late 70s, the garage. And so we had no problem uh, in general, just in the school, Bickford School, which is right here. Uh, there was really no vandalism, even in the 80s. And it's, I think it's been, uh, you know, uh, slowly climbing. But in 2000 and in the last like five, six years, it's been uh, just crazy. And uh, it's, 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 a little, it's a little worrisome because I don't, I don't get it. I don't get the, the tagging. I don't get the tagging in the sense of just these little tags, boom, 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 everywhere. It's it's a really a pissing contest, and it's it's kind of uh, it loses all respect as far as I'm concerned. And so now it's gotten to a place where it's so bad that we actually have to get taggers who actually are you know graffiti artists to actually put it on. And uh, I don't necessarily love someone else's tag on it because it's that's the whole point when doing it so that we don't have a tag on there but we have to have something on there because like like uh you know you guys know or else it's going to get tagged anyway so i mean it's beautiful that this project is happening because it's 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 good work it's it's nice work and especially if we can get everyone in on it then it's a real you know cohesive beauty if you look back at the major artists, like the, the, the ones that are so well known, Michelangelo, uh, the, I've mentioned the Italian ones, there's uh, you know, uh, lots of them, but Michelangelo has an idea. Michelangelo, one, never exposed in a gallery, ever. That's now. He's never exposed to What did he used to do? He used to go to people, or people used to come to him, let's say, i.e. the church, and say, on my wall, your graffiti, please, this is what I want. I want this idea on this wall. Okay, then he painted it. That's what became famous. You painted on my wall what I wanted you to paint, right? And in that idea, he, uh, he, he worked with that and worked within the boundaries, which is very key. Because if I'm telling an artist, these are the boundaries I want you to work with, and then he says, okay, yeah, cool. And then he just sprays his name on it. There's, there's no connection. Then you're not moving yourself as an artist either. You're not challenging yourself because work with these parameters. In the parameters is where you find your soul, is where you find your deepness. Because if you don't get in there, then you're outside of it and then you're just up in the air spraying. Like Michelangelo, he found his deepness when he did a lot of work for the church because the church told him, I want the creation, you know, I want the whatever. You know, and so that's it's very graffiti style in the sense of it's a wall. It's actually a wall, you know. So I think that's where it's really important to to work together. You're right, and it's since the beginning. And I mean, it's not that it's gotten not less vibrant. It was just just a different style. Now it's more yuppified and you know more more white, and that's that's fine. That's great. That's what happens. All the old beautiful neighborhoods that were really uh, rough. And, uh, and a lot of character slowly become the art centers. And then the art centers uh, then become the hippie area, the hippie area then become the yuppie area, the yuppie area become bring up the money. And you know, and now it's more, you know, it's a very desired neighborhood, especially with the park, overlooking the park. So one of the things I do is the, uh, the, uh, the name got lane, Peperonata Lane, because one of the parties I give is uh, a pepper party. And it's uh, over 15 years now. And I have over 150 people. We started with 20. And what happens is we roast peppers in the fireplace that we have in the garage we built. And people help peel that. And then we boil potatoes and people help peel that. We put that together like the old farm in, uh, in Calabrian, in Italy. And olive oil, and that's it bread from the local bakery and everyone brings red wine and uh, we play uh, the old 45s I brought from Italy I digitalized them and we just play those and all day so it's the park is overflowing with people everywhere so it's a real event and it's beautiful it's it's it's, it's a real community feel.